nuclear fusion reaction that produced more energy than was used to create it. Two, one, zero. This is the record-breaking reaction. The world's most powerful fusion plant the sun is the most powerful energy source in our solar system. And according to NASA, we would have to explode 100 billion pounds of dynamite every second just to match its energy. Harnessing this type of energy in a safe and controlled way is the holy grail of power and was previously thought impossible. But a team of scientists has achieved a major breakthrough in nuclear fusion and have succeeded in creating energy in a similar way the sun does. They use the world's biggest and most powerful lasers to force hydrogen atoms to join together in a laboratory. This process is called fusion, and it's how the sun and other stars produce heat and light. This could be a game changer for the world's energy needs because, unlike nuclear fission, nuclear fusion is clean, gives off no nuclear waste, and is limitless. Join us as we take a look at the biggest nuclear fusion breakthrough in 50 years. Nuclear fusion is a process that powers stars, including our own sun, and it has captivated scientific interest as a limitless energy source on Earth. Unlike nuclear fission, which is the process used in current nuclear power plants to split atoms, nuclear fusion involves combining lightweight atomic nuclei to form heavier ones, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. The basic principle of nuclear fusion is to bring two atomic nuclei so close together that the strong force, which normally keeps protons, positively charged particles, apart due to their mutually electrostatic repulsion, can overcome this repulsion and bind the nuclei together. This results in the formation of a new, heavier nucleus and the release of energy in the form of light and heat. In stars like the Sun, the fusion process primarily involves combining hydrogen nuclei, protons, to form helium. This is known as the proton-proton chain reaction. The energy produced through this fusion process is what sustains the sun's heat and light, allowing it to shine for billions of years. On Earth, scientists and engineers have been trying for years to replicate controlled nuclear fusion as a potentially limitless and clean energy source. But the results have been less than desirable so far. Well, until now. The U.S. Department of Energy's Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory was established in 1952 and has a rich history of scientific research and technological innovation. Initially, the lab focused on nuclear weapons research and development during the Cold War. However, its mission has evolved over the years to encompass a wide range of scientific disciplines and national security concerns. LLNL is a leading institution in the pursuit of fusion energy through ICF. Researchers work at the National Ignition Facility, NIF, which is the world's largest laser facility designed to study nuclear fusion and related applications. The NIF is the world's most powerful and advanced laser system built to study high-energy physics, nuclear fusion, and astrophysics. It was primarily designed to achieve controlled nuclear fusion through a process called Inertial Confinement Fusion. ICF. It was built in the 1990s to create conditions in the laboratory that had previously only been accessible in the most extreme objects in the universe, like the center of giant planets or the sun, or in operating nuclear weapons. The goal of NIF is to create conditions where hydrogen isotopes, such as deuterium and tritium, can be heated and compressed to initiate a self-sustaining fusion reaction, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. The facility's main apparatus consists of 192 powerful laser beams, which can be directed and focused onto a small target containing the fusion fuel. When these lasers simultaneously strike the target, they generate an immense amount of energy and pressure, causing the fusion process to occur. And now, researchers in the LLNL have announced that they have successfully generated a nuclear fusion reaction. This monumental breakthrough marks a turning point in the pursuit of clean and virtually limitless energy. The magical moment occurred within a fraction of a second, taking less time than a beam of light to move just one inch. In that fleeting instance, nuclear fusion transformed from a distant and elusive dream into a tangible reality. The significance of this achievement cannot be overstated, 
as it paves the way for a new era of sustainable and environmentally friendly energy production. Scientists and experts worldwide are now grappling with the profound implications of this historic milestone. At the forefront of this momentous discovery is Arthur Pack, a dedicated researcher and his team of brilliant minds at LLNL. These tireless scientists have devoted countless years to the pursuit of nuclear fusion as a viable energy solution. For them, the work has only just begun, as they now face the challenging task of replicating and improving upon their achievement. With determination and ambition, Pack and his colleagues are ready to take on the next step in the journey of nuclear fusion. Their ultimate goal is to create and enhance the fusion reaction, aiming for an even more sustained and controllable energy release. To do this, they'll be using the world's largest laser, which is housed in LLNL's National Ignition Facility. The task is daunting, but the potential rewards are enormous. The extraordinary event unfolded at just after 1 a.m. on December 5th. The powerful laser fired 192 beams and three carefully controlled pulses at a small diamond capsule filled with hydrogen. The goal was to initiate a nuclear fusion reaction that would produce more energy than it consumed. For months, Arthur Pack and his team had been making steady progress, and on that early morning, they anxiously awaited a critical indicator, the neutron count produced by the blast. When the number appeared, Pack was astonished. He knew that this moment was incredibly rare, the kind that many scientists may never experience in their entire careers. You can work your whole career and never see this moment. You're doing it because you believe in the destination and you like the challenge," said Pack, leader for diagnostics on the experiment. When humans come together and work collectively, we can do amazing things. While this achievement is indeed a significant milestone, it doesn't mean we'll start using this technology immediately. However, we are now closer than ever before. The focus of future experiments will be on increasing the amount of energy produced in the fusion reaction. This will involve continuous tinkering and improvement. To achieve this, the researchers will explore various options. They may use more laser energy, fine-tune the laser blast, and work on generating more X-rays within the target, an essential step in the process, while using the same amount of energy. As they make progress, there might be considerations for upgrading the facility itself. However, such a decision would require approval and funding from the Energy Department, which is a significant undertaking. The road ahead is long and challenging, and it will take years, perhaps even decades, to advance from the current bite-sized experiments at Lawrence Livermore Lab, where each trial lasts only nanoseconds. According to Kim Budil, director of the Lawrence Livermore Lab, we need to figure out, can we make it simpler? Can we make this process easier and more repeatable? Can we begin to do it more than one time a day? Each of these is an incredible scientific and engineering challenge for us. Most experiments predict that fusion technology will not be viable on a large and affordable scale for at least 20 to 30 years. This means it is unlikely to play a significant role in achieving the world's net zero emissions goal by 2050. While fusion holds promise as a carbon-free energy source for the future, it currently faces numerous challenges that hinder its integration into the ongoing global energy transition. Fusion has been a captivating scientific concept for decades. Although it is already harnessed to provide immense power in nuclear weapons, the ultimate goal is to tame it for civilian energy needs. If successfully scaled up, fusion could lead to power plants capable of generating abundant electricity round the clock without releasing greenhouse gases. Additionally, unlike today's nuclear power, which relies on fission and generates long-lived radioactive waste, fusion would not create such hazardous byproducts. This potential makes it an attractive prospect for a sustainable and cleaner energy future. However, there is still considerable work to be done before fusion becomes a practical reality for widespread use. Also, while the recent breakthrough at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory is a significant scientific achievement, there is no guarantee that it will lead to the immediate development of a fusion industry powering the world. The path from experimental success to widespread commercialization is challenging and uncertain, and it may take several decades if it happens at all. 
the journey from the laboratory to a full-fledged fusion energy industry involves overcoming various technical, engineering, and economic obstacles. Many research and development stages, as well as extensive testing and refinement, are required to ensure the technology's safety, reliability, and cost-effectiveness on a large scale. Furthermore, securing the necessary funding, regulatory approvals, and public support is a complex process that adds to the timeline. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.